this is part two of the tutorial on how to um, UV up, unwrap things in Blender. Um, so, picking off from the last tutorial, I just went ahead and loaded our cube here with a material, and I'm going to load that material onto a sphere here as well. And we can see that with the default settings and the default unwrapping, it maps in a very particular way. But what if we wanted to map something onto an object with more complex sides than a curve without um, making things too difficult for us? Then we have a tool called Seams that we can use. And to use um, UV Seams when we're unwrapping, I'm just going to go into Edge Mode and I'm going to select Center Loop there and a center loop there as well and one there and one there and we can see here that that divides our sphere into four um, relatively or eight rather relatively equal portions so what we do next is we use control E on the keyboard and we just mark seams and this is gonna visually we get some data to see that we have done that and if we select this all if we unwrap this by default that's how it looks and if we unwrap it now we can see we have all of these um, parts to our model or parts on our model rather are being mapped individually to um, to separate regions which we can then go ahead and if we click on a, a vertex there we can control the orientation of I'm trying to find a good part on the model to demonstrate this. Here we go. Then we can we can control how this is mapping um, individually. So we can either even go ahead and Control the scale resolution for the texture for the, just that portion of the of the object, which is another really sensible way to do this. And when we have our, our seam seams marked, it doesn't matter um, what type of UV unwrapping we use; it's still going to treat it as. As, well maybe not with the cube and cylinder projections but with with the main ones it should treat it as separate really separate objects that are mapped to the surface of your main object is the best way to think about it so that is UV unwrapping using seams thank you for watching